Hi everyone, um, following the review of the Fluke Firefly banjo ukulele that I put up on Got a Ukulele a week ago, I promised that I'd put up a uh, sound sample and let you have a look at it on video as well. This is certainly a ukulele that has divided opinion as I can see in the responses I've had to the review. Um, generally speaking those in, in America, United States, um, very much like the way it looks. Um, those in the UK uh, don't, or don't as much, um, prefer the resonator and the hooks that are missing from, from this instrument. It's just, just got this binding strip around the top of the hand drum. Um, and a common thought, I think, from both sides of the pond is that the ukulele is expensive for what it is. Um, as one uh, respondent put, £230 is a lot of money for a ukulele neck screwed onto a tambourine, um, which <laughs> is essentially what it is. Although what I would say is that it's priced similarly to the Fluke uh, ukulele. Um, the plastic fretboard version, this is this is wood, uh, but the plastic fretboard version is cheaper and the same sort of price as the Fluke. Um, this is the wooden fretboard, this is more expensive, same sort of price as the Fluke with the wooden fretboard. Um, and I suppose the Fluke is probably an expensive ukulele for what is essentially a ukulele neck screwed onto a lunchbox. But, um, they sound good. Um, they're very well made. The neck is fast, comfortable to hold, perfect action, intonation all over the neck is absolutely spot on. Um, I like the design of the, the headstock on the on the flute. Sorry about the loose strings. Um, and I actually like this. I think this um, I think this looks nice. It's uh, it's a nice thing. Um, Two hundred and thirty pounds, a lot of money. Yes, but there we are. Um, so it's standard tuning. I um, changed the strings from the strings that came on it, which were labella strings with a wound. Uh, C string, a wound third, which I'd, mm, too bright. I'd read a lot of reviews uh, on these. When they originally came out, they were shipping them with the Keeler banjo strings, uh, all nylon banjo strings, um, and they seem to have changed to La Bella. Uh, I'm not convinced that's a good thing. Um, a lot of the early reviews of this were very positive in so far as it was a warm sounding not really banjo sounding banjo, so um, the labella actually made it sound very bright and sharp, so I swapped them back to Aquila's. So we have the tailpiece, standard banjo bridge, it's a Remo skin head, uh, the little red thing here is a small cloth I've just got wedged in just to take the, take the ghost notes and the echo that you can get in it banjo down a little bit. As I say, wooden fingerboard, standard um, fluke headstock with Grover 2B friction tuners, which are fine. They're the same as the frictions on my fleet and my fluke. Um, and sound, as I say, it's um, it's clearly a banjo sound. It's not a ukulele sound, but it's not um, it's not as bright and chimey and sharp as a lot of banjo ukuleles that I've played before. It's um, you know it's. And because it's open back, I don't know whether I'll pick this up on the microphone, but... Um, you, can, you can kind of change the sound and the tone by whether it's pressed flat to your body. Kind of obvious, really, but um, uh, it's it, it's something you can have a bit of fun with. Um, I like it. I like the sound of it. Um, it is expensive, but there we are. Um, no one's forcing you to buy it. Um, I personally, well, I'm going to offend a lot of people here, but I'm not a fan of the traditional um, banjo ukulele look. Um, I know a lot of people are. That's great. Not for me. So uh, there we are, the fluke, Firefly.